Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth Dugay of STEM Teacher PH. Pag-usapan natin ang integration formulas for trigonometric functions. Kapag kapamilyar na tayo sa formulas for the derivative of trigonometric functions, hindi na tayo ganun may hihirapan dito kasi babalik na rin lang natin sila. So let's talk about the formulas. First, kapag kumukuha tayo ng integral of cosine of x with respect to x, that is just equal to sine of x plus the arbitrary constant c. Tapos, kapag ka yung sine naman, ang kukuha na ng integral, so you have the integral of sine of x dx, that is equal to the negative cosine of x plus c. Alalahanin na natin itong formula. And then for the integral of second squared x dx, that is just equal to tangent of x plus c. Kapag ka naman cosecant squared x dx, ang kinukuha na ng integral, that is equal to the negative cotangent x plus c. Tapos, kapag ka-integral ng second x times tangent of x dx, that is equal to second of x plus c. And finally, the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. Don't worry kapag ka hindi nyo pag-aanong sa ulo yung formula, meron naman tayong guide as we solve our examples. So now, let's start with our first one. We have here, we have to get the integral of 3 sin x plus second squared x dx. Medyo madali lang to kasi meron tayong direct formula na magagamit. We just have to separate yung 3 sin x at second squared x. That is by applying some indifference rule of integration. We can take their integral separately. Umpisahan natin dito kay integral of 3 sin x. Tapos, huwag kalimutan si dx. And then, the operation between them is addition. Kaya dapat, eto ay addition. Tapos, yung pangalawa, we have the integral of second squared x and then dx. Wala tayong problema sa integral of second squared dx. Meron tayong sagot. Kaso nga lang, meron pa tayong 3 dito. Kailangan natin siyang ihiwalay dito kay sin x. Kaya, ang gagawin by applying constant multiple rule for integration, Pwede tayo maglabas ng constant. So, this is just equal to 3. Paalala lang, constant lang ang pwedeng ilabas ng integration kapag ka nakamultiply siya sa function of x. So, that is 3 integral of sine of x and then dx plus, kopihin lang natin to integral of second squared x and then dx. Now, we can apply our formulas for the integral of trigonometric functions. Ang integral ng sine of x dx, kapag ka sinundan dito, that is negative cosine of x plus c. So, this is just equal to 3. Ang integral ng sine of x is negative cosine of x. As we follow here, ito yung ginamit natin. Plus, ang integral ng second squared x, that is just equal to tangent of x. Kaya itong buong to will become tangent of x. And then, wag kalimutan sa arbitrary constant plus c. Then we just simplify this one. This is equal to negative 3 cosine of x plus we have tangent of x plus c. Now we have our final answer. Madali lang siyang gawin kapag directly meron tayong formula na magagamit for integration. Pero for our next examples, meron pa tayong certain manipulations na gagawin para makagamit tayo ng formulas for the integral of trigonometric functions. Now, let us proceed with our second example. We have here the integral of 4x cosine of x squared dx. Ang problema natin for this example is yung x squared na nandito. Kasi wala naman tayong integral ng trigonometric function ng x squared. Ang meron lang tayo ay x yung angle na nasa loob. Kaya ang gagawin natin to simplify this one, we will be using u substitution. We will be letting u be equal to dun sa nasa loob, that is x squared. We let u be equal to x squared. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin to, this will become cosine of u. Kaso, ang problema dito, kailangan din natin kumuha ng integral with respect to u. Kaya papalitan natin tong dx. Kaya we get the derivative nitong nilet natin as u, getting its derivative with respect to x. Kaya yung left side, this will become derivative of u with respect to x or du over dx. Tapos yung right side, Pwede na naman siyang kuha ng derivative. The derivative of x squared with respect to x is simply 2x. Now, solving for the value of dx, ito yung kailangan natin. So, we have to multiply again. 
both sides of our equation by dx. Tapos dahil tatanggalin to dito, we divide it by 2x. Kaya ang mangyayari, mawawala yung dx dito sa left side, mapapalitan siya ng 2x. So we have du over 2x. Now our right side, madidivide ngayon si 2x, ang matitira na lang ay si dx. Kaya ang gagawin natin, isa-substitute na lang natin, we have our u, ipapalit natin kay x squared, tapos yung dx ay papalitan na natin ng du over 2x. Now we perform our substitution. Our integration, this will become equal to still integral of 4x tapos cosine. Yung x squared ay papalitan natin ng u. So, this will become cosine of u. And then, we multiply it to yung dx ay papalitan ng du over 2x. So, doing that, this will become du over 2x. Medyo lakihan na pala natin yung integration para mas okay yung presentation ng solution. So, this is equal to Pagpalitin lang natin yung terms natin para mas madaling makita yung operation. So, we have 4x. Kopyahin natin siya dito. Tapos, yung du over 2x, iiwalay ko yung 1 over 2x. So, we have 4x times 1 over 2x. Tapos, multiplied 2 cosine of u. Tapos, dahil hiniwalay ko na yung 1 over 2x, ang matitira na lang dito, it's du. Now, we perform our operation. 4x divided by 2x, this will become equal to 2. Kaya ang matitira, this will become equal to integral of 2 tapos cosine of u and then du. Ngayon, pwede na natin kuhanan yung cosine of u with respect to u. Ilalabas na lang natin yung 2. Then performing our operation, ibaba lang natin etong formula natin para merong space. So this is equal to bringing out 2 constant multiple rule to integral of cosine of u and then du. Looking at our formula, ang integral ng cosine of x dx is sine of x. Pero in terms of u tayo, kaya this is equal to 2, ang cosine of u will become sine of u and then the arbitrary constant c. Tapos balikan na lang natin, aninilat natin as u, our u is just equal to x squared. Kaya kapag binalikan natin to, palitan natin yung u as x squared, we have this is equal to 2 sine, our u is x squared, so this is sine of x squared, and then plus C. Now, this is our final answer. Ito yung proseso kapag gagamit tayo ng u substitution kapag kukuha tayo ng integral ng certain trigonometric functions na hindi directly magagamit yung formula. Now, let us have more examples na gagamit tayo ng substitution para mas masanay tayo. Let us have example number 3. We have the integral of tangent x dx. Kapag titingin kayo sa ibang libro, Merong direct na formula for integration ng tangent x dx. Pero for this one, gagawin natin siya by substitution. We have to use a certain trigonometric identity. So let us recall, if we are given with tangent of x, this is also equivalent to sin x over cosine of x. Ito yung ipapalit natin dito. So doing that, this is equal to integral of tangent of x is equal to sin of x over cosine of x and then we have dx. For this one, sundan nyo lang muna yung proseso. Maglalat u ulit tayo. We will be doing a u substitution. Ang ilalat naman natin as u ay yung nasa denominator that is cosine of x. Memaya malalaman natin kung bakit yung nasa denominator yung nilat natin as u and then again, we perform its derivative. Kuhanin yung derivative with respect to x. Left side, this is simply du over dx tapos yung right side ang derivative ng cosine of x is just equal to negative sine of x as we recall our formulas for differentiation kaya ang gagawin natin solving for the value of dx sa ulit yung kukunin we multiply it to dx tapos tatanggalin to kaya ang denominator is negative sine of x kaya ang mangyayari our left side mawawala sa dx this will become negative du over sine of x tapos yung right side mawawala si negative sine of x ang may iwan na lang ic dx now we perform our substitution si cosine of x ay papalitan natin as u tapos yung dx ay papalitan natin ng negative du over sine of x now performing our substitution this is equal to again integral wala pa tayong ginagawa kay sine of x kaya this is still sine of x over Yung cosine of x ay ginawa natin siyang u. So, this is sine of x over u. Tapos, yung dx is already equivalent to negative du over sine of x. 
then we can perform our division. Sine of x divided by sine of x is just equal to 1. Ang may iwan sa loob, we have the integral of negative du over u. Tapos ilalabas lang natin yung negative constant multiple that is negative 1. Doing that, we have the negative integral of du over u. And then as we recall, our formula for integration, du over u, this is equal to ln of u. Kasi meron tayong integration formula na kapag kumukuha tayo ng integral ng dx over x, this is equal to ln of x. In our case, dahil in terms of u tayo, this will become equal to negative integral of du over u is ln of u. Now we have this. Tapos we apply our logarithm of a power. Kasi as we recall, if we are given with logarithm of certain x raised to m, ang pwedeng gawin, yung exponent ay pwedeng ibaba, tapos i-multiply kay logarithm of x. Ang gagawin natin ay yung baliktad. Kasi given tayo ng m, itong katabi ni logarithm, siya yung iaangat natin dito. Remember, ln is also a logarithm. This is a natural logarithm. Kaya ang gagawin, itong negative 1 na nasa labas, siya yung iaangat natin papasok sa loob. So we have, this is equal to, wag nga pala natin kalimutan our arbitrary constant C here. Tapos iaangat natin yung negative 1. This is equal to ln of u raised to negative 1. Absolute value nga pala to. So we have our plus C here. Tapos ano yung value ng u? As we go back here, our u is cosine of x. Ay ang gagawin yung cosine of x, ipapalit natin kay u. So this will become equal to ln of cosine of x raised to negative 1. So this is cosine of x raised to negative 1 and then plus c. Applying the concept of negative exponent, pwede natin kuhanin yung reciprocal niya. So itabi na natin ito muna. So this is just equal to ln. Tapos this will become 1 over cosine of x. And then finally, 1 over cosine of x applying our identity. So this is just equal to second of x. So we have ln of second of x plus c. This is now the integral of tangent of x. Medyo marami lang tayong dinaanan para makuha to kasi gumamit pa tayo ng trigonometric identities and then gumamit din tayo ng konsepto pagdating sa logarithm this logarithm of a power. But still, we were able to get the integral of tangent of x dx. Now, we can proceed with our last example for this lecture video. We have the integral of 2 cotangent x minus 3 sine squared x all over sine x dx. For this one, gagamit lang tayo ng konting algebraic manipulation tapos mag apply ng identity para ma-reduce natin yung expression na makakagamit tayo ng formula for the integration of trigonometric functions. So let's do this. Kung mapapansin natin, they have a common denominator, sine of x, pwede natin silang pag -iwalin. So we have, this is equal to integral. Ilalabas na natin yung constant na 2 para hindi na tayo mahirapan. Applying constant multiple rule. So that is 2. And then, ano yung may iwan sa loob? You have cotangent of x. So this is cotangent over sine of x. Then dx minus constant multiple, ilalabas yung 3. So you have 3 integral of, na iwan sa loob, we have sine squared, and then over x, sine of x, tapos dx. Here we can perform our division. Meron tayong sine squared of x, meron tayong sine of x. Kaya eto ay mababawasan ng isa, we can perform our division here. Mas madali na siya, this is just integral of sine of x dx. Eto yung medyo magtatrabaho pa tayo ng kaunti. Here's what we will be doing here. This is equal to, ang gagawin natin, paghihiwalayin muna natin yung cotangent of x tsaka si sine of x. Kasi kapag ka ginawa natin yun, this will become 1 over sine of x. Tapos, imumultiply siya dito, that is cotangent of x and then dx. Tapos, eto, wala na tayong problema. This is just 3. Integral of, this will become sine of x and then dx. Kasi ang mangyayari, this 1 over sine of x, this is equivalent to cosecant of x as we have our trigonometric identities. So this is equal to 2, tapos integral of, eto will become cosecant of x, tapos eto will become cotangent of x, and then dx. 
Bakit ito ginawa? Kasi as we look at our trigonometric formulas, so we have integral of cosecant of x, cotangent of x dx is equal to negative cosecant of x. Pwede na natin siyang kuhanan. Ito, madali na naman to Kopihin lang natin. So this is just minus 3 and then integral of sine of x dx. Upon doing that, then we can perform our integration. We have 2. Ito is already equivalent to negative cosecant of x by applying this formula. So this will become negative cosecant of x minus 3. Tapos ang integral ng sine of x is negative cosine of x. So we have negative cosine of x. And then wag kalimutan yung arbitrary constant na c. As we go down, let us just perform our operation. This is equal to negative 2 cosecant of x and then this will become plus 3 and then cosine of x plus c if you want to rearrange the terms na mauna yung positive okay lang naman so this is 3 cosine of x minus 2 cosecant of x and then plus c now this is your final answer ito yung dinatnan natin upon using certain trigonometric identities para makakuha tayo ng formula for the integration of trigonometric functions. Kaya medyo nagiging tricky yung integral of trigonometric functions kasi marami tayong identities na pwedeng gamitin for us to somehow simplify yung given expression. And finally, this ends our lecture video for the integral of trigonometric functions. I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching.